while cable pulling is a decades-old installation method, improvements in cable pulling products and techniques are ongoing. Modern pulling lubricants and lubrication procedures can produce friction coefficients of 0.1 or lower. This reduces pulling tension substantially. Not only does this mean easier pulls, but longer pulls with fewer splices and less chance for cable damage both short and long term. To show the field side of lubrication technology, American Polywater is pleased to present Cable Pulling Lubrication Part 1. This video will demonstrate the differences between liquid and gel pulling compounds. Application techniques and approaches for both types will be shown. There is no one way to lubricate, nor is there a universal lubricant. Pulling compounds are specialized based on the variety of cable types, jacket materials, conduit surfaces, pulling environments, and lubrication methods. American Polywater manufactures over a dozen different pulling lubricants. For over two decades, these products have been proven in the installation of hundreds of millions of feet of cable. Many of Polywater's lubricants are patented, and while they are imitated, they have never been duplicated. There is only one manufacturer of polywater lubricants. This video will focus on power cable applications with two of polywater's premium lubricants, polywater J and polywater PJ. Polywater J is probably the best known of polywater's products. It is a thick stringy gel lubricant that hangs on to cables through water, dirt, absorbent duct, and difficult multiple bend pulls. Polywater J has an extraordinarily low coefficient of friction for low pulling tension. The J lubricant is easy to clean up, non-staining, and stable through heat aging or freeze-thaw cycling. Polywater PJ is a liquid form of J. In fact, PJ stands for pourable J. PJ is used where field crews can pour the lubricant and thus avoid hand application. PJ gives the same great pulling results as Polywater J, but allows different application methods. Let's first look at the application of Polywater J in the field. J is a thick gel designed for hand application, pumping, or front-end pack pre-lubrication. J can be hand applied to cables as they enter the conduit, or cables can be re-lubed as they pass through intermediate vaults on long runs. It's important to coat the cables completely and evenly as they enter the conduit. The thick polywater J gel lube is also best for vertical up runs. This minimizes dripping and flow back of lubricant during the pull. Gels are also best for any kind of overhead application of lubricant. Polywater J comes in wide mouth packages. While it can be poured from its pail, it's much neater to pump the lube to get it into horizontal conduits. The LP3 pump shown here is pumping Polywater J into a feeder tube. The front end pack is a plastic bag filled with J lubricant. It's used to pre-lubricate conduit in front of the cable as the cable is pulled. Front end packs come in two different sizes, a quart pack, roughly one and one-half inches in diameter, and a half-gallon pack with a three-inch diameter. The one-quart pack is used in two to three-inch conduits, and the half-gallon pack is for conduits three inches or larger. On typical pulls, several front end packs are used. The label on the packs provides details on the appropriate number of packs for any specific pull. The packs are attached to the winch line with electrical tape or cable ties, which are tightened just behind the bag closure clip. Multiple bags are placed end to end on the rope ahead of the cable grip and swivel. Once the bags are attached, the puller is started slowly, pulling the bags into the conduit ahead of the cable. As each bag is guided into the conduit, a knife held just inside the mouth slices the bag from front to back as it passes. All the bags are opened in this manner. The slit bags slowly ooze lubricant just ahead of the cable as they travel through the conduit system. More lubricant is squeezed out in conduit bends to help ensure lubrication in these tension-adding areas. After the pull, the empty packs are simply removed from the pulling rope. On long pulls or other difficult installations, the front end packs are a great way to get lubricant to all areas of cable rub. The packs can also be used to pre-lubricate from the other end of the conduit when the pulling rope itself is installed. This ensures lubrication at the end of very long pulls. Occasionally, there are concerns about pre-lubrication of conduit because the pulling grip and cable end get messy with lube. 
A plastic bag taped over the grip will keep it clean and dry. Lubrication at the head end of the cable is important for the lowest tension pulls, and the front end packs ensure this. The second form of polywater J is the pourable lubricant called PJ. For underground pulling with feeder tubes or conduit stub-ups, a pourable lubricant is neat and practical. PJ is packaged for pouring in one and two and a half gallon jugs with handles and a five gallon pail with a wide pour spout. Here, PJ lubricant is being poured from a two and a half gallon jug onto cables during a pull. The liquid PJ is easy to pump. The LP3 pump shown pumps on both the upstroke and downstroke. The output hose length can be customized to meet special application needs. The LP3 pump is rust resistant for compatibility with water based lubricants. For underground work, Polywater PJ eliminates the need to hand apply lubricant. Pouring is a fast and clean way to lubricate. Both the pourable and gel forms of Polywater J come in regular and winter grade formulas. The regular formulas can be used to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Winter grade PJ and J can be used to temperatures as low as minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It's important to use the proper amount of lubricant. The cost of lubricant is insignificant compared to the cost of cable, conduit, and installation labor. This formula estimates a quantity of lubricant for a specific pull. A constant point zero zero one five is multiplied times the length of the conduit run in feet and the ID of the conduit in inches to calculate a quantity in gallons. The longer the run or the larger the conduit, the more lube is recommended. This formula calculates a base amount of lube and depending upon difficulty of the pull, quality of the conduit, etc., more or less lubricant may be needed. After the pull, polywater lubricants are easy to clean from the cable. Simply squeegee down the cable with a rag. Most of the lubricant is removed in this one quick step. Another important point you noticed earlier is the use of a cable separator when pulling three paralleled cables. The cables should be arranged and controlled on feeder tube entry. If not, the cables adjusting over one another in conduit bends can produce very high tensions. A number of devices are made for separation. One separator also lubricates the cables by allowing lubricant to be pumped through holes onto the cable as it passes. High performance polywater lubricants used in the way shown can minimize tension in cable pulling. Choose the type of polywater lubricant and package which works best for your type of pulling. Feel free to contact American Polywater with any questions or for additional information. <laughs>